Hi children, today we are going to do a word problems, word problems in addition, together with that carry over, we have already learned two digit addition with carry over, we have already learned, we are also going to do together with that word problem, so in the form of word problem, two digit addition with carry over. I hope you will enjoy doing word problem. We'll do it together, shall we? Yes, let's look at upper sum. Let's read together. Look, this is the problem given to you. You and I will read together. In a class, there are 24 girls and 27 boys. Your question is, how many students are there in the class? So, we've got to make statements. Now, let's read together. In a class, there are 24 girls. How many girls? 24 girls. So, under tens one, we put it down. 24 is 2, 10, 4, 1. In a class, there are 24 girls plus 27 boys plus 27 boys, 2, 10, 7, 1. So, the, we got it. Now, the question is, how many students are there in the class? We got the girls and the boys. Now, we have to add them all. Two digit numbers, addition. Carry over. Look carefully. You are going to find the answer. Okay. Let's add the ones place. Four ones, seven ones. Seven ones plus four ones. How many? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Seven ones plus four ones make eleven ones. What is the eleven ones? One ten and one one. In the ones place, we leave the one, we take the one ten and take it up and put it in the tens place. So we have your one one, and the one ten is gone to the tens place. Now let's add together. One plus two is three. 3 plus 2 is 4, 5. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. So, we write the 5 here. 5 tens, 1, 1. The question is, how many students are there in the class? Your answer is 24 girls plus 27 boys. Altogether, how many? 51 students. That is your answer. There are totally 51 students. 24 girls plus 27 boys is equal to 51. Your answer, there are totally 51 students. Did you enjoy the word problem? Yes. Good. Now, let's go on. Ravi has 12 balls and Tim gave him 19 more balls. How many balls does Ravi have altogether? So, we are doing two digit addition with carry over. Pay attention. We will put the numbers in ones and tens place. Ravi has 12 balls. How many? We will put 12. Ravi has 12 ball, that is 1, 10, 2, 1, 12. Now, Tim gave him 19 more balls plus 19. We have to do 12 plus 19. What do we get? Addition with carry over. In the 1's place, we have 2 and 9. So, we are going to add 
what is in the ones place. Nine ones plus two ones. Nine plus two. Nine, ten, eleven. So nine plus two is eleven. That is one ten one one. The one one we leave it in the ones place. We carry the one ten to the tens place. Now we have all the tens in the tens place. Let's add the tens. One plus one is two. Two plus one is three. So we put the three down here. We have three tens. One, two, three tens, and one one. Twelve plus nineteen is thirty-one. Look at your question. How many balls does Ravi have altogether? So your answer: Ravi has thirty-one balls altogether. Did you enjoy working out this problem? Good. Let's look at another problem. Look what is given to you. Read with me. There are eighteen sparrows and twenty-five parrots on a tree. Your question is: How many birds are there in all? Let's do. There are eighteen parrots. So, how many parrots? You put down the number of parrots: one and eight. Eighteen parrots on a tree, plus, sorry, eighteen sparrows on a tree, plus twenty-five parrots. Eighteen sparrows plus twenty-five parrots on a tree. You're supposed to find how many. Birds are there in all. We are doing two-digit addition with carryover. We have one ten, eight ones, two tens, five ones, and we have put down ones and tens in the column. Let's add all the ones. Eight ones plus five ones, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen eight plus five is thirteen. One and three, thirteen. Eight ones plus five ones make thirteen ones. Now we leave the three ones in the ones place. We take the one ten and put it in the tens place. Now let's add all the tens. Good. One plus one, two. Two plus two, four. So we have four tens. So eighteen plus twenty-five is forty-three. Your question is: How many birds are there in all? So you write the statement: There are forty-three birds in all. There are forty-three birds in all. Now you learned word problem with two digit number with carry over. Did you enjoy the sum? Let's work out another sum. Look what we have here. Let's read together. There are thirty five mangoes and thirty five apples in a basket. How many fruits are there totally? So, number of mangoes, thirty-five. So we'll put it in the ones and tens place. Three tens, five one. Number of mangoes, thirty-five plus thirty-five apples. Thirty-five mangoes, thirty-five apples. What is thirty-five plus thirty-five? We are doing two digit addition with carry over. We have put them in the tens and ones place. Let's all add all the ones. Five ones plus five one. Five plus five five six seven eight nine ten. 
5 plus 5 is 10. 1 and 0, 10. Now, 10 is a two digit number. You cannot, when it is 10, it becomes 110. So, you put 0 in the 1's place, that 110 will take and we'll put it in the 10's place. That 110 goes into the 10's place and we leave the 0 in the 1's place. Now, let's add all the 10's. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, we get 7 10's here. So, we write 7 here. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. We write 7 tens here. 7 tens. 35 plus 35 gives you 70. So, how many? How many fruits are there totally? There are 70 fruits totally. Did you enjoy doing the word problem with the addition carryover? Let us go to another sum now. Read your problem first. There are 68 jasmines and 24 roses in a garden. In a garland. 68 jasmines and 24 roses in a garland. How many flowers are there all together? That's what we must find out. Let's put it into the tens and ones place. There are 68 jasmines. 6 tens, 8 ones. We arrange it correctly. And 24 roses. 24 plus 24. So, these are the flowers in the garland. 68 plus 24. Let's add the 6 tens, 8 ones, 2 tens, 4 ones. First, let's add all the ones. 8 ones plus 4 ones. 8 ones plus 4 ones. 8 plus 4. 8, 9, 10, 11. 12. 8 plus 4 is 12. 1 and 2? 12. 1 and 2, 12 is a double digit number. 1, 10, 2, 1. In the 1's place, we can only put the 1's. So, we put the 2 1's. The 1, 10, we take. And we take and put it into the 10's place before we add. 1, 10 plus 6, 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 8, 9. 7 plus 2 is 9. So, we have here 92. 68 plus 24 is equal to 92. How many flowers are there altogether? There are 92 flowers altogether. So, your answer. Your answer is, there are 92 flowers altogether. Did you enjoy doing the word problem? Adding two digit numbers with carryover? I hope you did.